Hey everybody and welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to walk you through how I'm going to make an 8 foot tiger shark from styrofoam. It is time to kind of draw out the tiger shark shape. It's like a giant slug. It's a shark. Works wonders on foam. There we go. Safety first. That went pretty easy. I can still smell a little bit, so I probably knocked like 10 years off my life. So now I think what I'm gonna do is actually get a piece of blue foam, which is hiding behind that plywood right there. It's a tail fin. And uh, start making the tail fin, the anal fins, and whatever that fin that's in the back is. Boom! Now that's a fin. It also hides the disaster that is my shop. Now we're making progress. I mean, look at that thing. Making good progress. Now it'll be on to taking these fins down to size and then I'll pull the fins out and hard coat them. So once they're hard coated, then we can work on hard coating the main body once that's final roughed out and we'll be in good shape. It finally showed up. Hard coat. Hello, beautiful. Let's do this. Right now, behind me is a basically hard coated tiger shark. So I have a little bit left to go, like obviously the tail there um, that I still have to do. The fins are 
pretty much done. Now it's just time to sand, but overall it's looking good. All right, it's been a long day, but it's time to throw some hard code on this bad boy. And I'm going with the old Krause and Becker from Harbor Freight. That's right, it's a latex paint sprayer, $20 from Harbor Freight. And honestly, I sprayed it on the other side just by watering down my Roscoe's foam coat. I then put it in here, sprayed down the other side, and it looks good. Seems to work just fine, so. Oh, and the thing is like ridiculously loud, so just that's why I have to buy one. It's like 9.30, but I live out in the county, so it's, it's okay. So let's pretend you're walking into your seventh and eighth grade science classroom and you're like, oh, I like, well, science is okay. And then all of a sudden, poof. Yes. I love science. I'm gonna try the old Harbor Freight gun to spray a base coat on this thing of latex. The primer's right here, it's a kills primer and apparently it doesn't eat foam, so. Hopefully it won't eat it. Pretty sure I got some paint on my face. That was a little sloppy, and now I'm gonna go over it with a little tiny foam roller just to even things out, but it, it went on thick, it went on nice. Prime Tiger Shark, ready for paint. Next is a couple layers of overspray, just gray, different tones of gray. So what you see here is, you know, on a real tiger shark, it actually fades into the body. I'm also gonna go with a darker gray on the top section to kind of highlight the back, because if you look at a shark, the way the body is rolled over the top looks darker, and then it'll blend in everything. Hey, there's nothing like adding distractions to your classroom. <laughs> so it is the big day for install here. We are at the middle school science class. My good buddy Lee, and uh, he is about to receive an 11-foot tiger shark. 
Right now we're securing in some carabiners and some heavy gauge wire to actually run this guy. It only weighs 45 pounds, but you can never be too safe, so. Any final words? Don't let the kids swing from it. Please. I won't let the kids swing from it. <laughs> yes, too cool. <laughs> seen it for months in my shop and seen it here. Yeah. Ugh, you wanna go see the shark? Yeah. Did daddy make that? So yeah, he'll sit up here and teach and that's his uh, background. It's pretty wild.